Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most beautiful rig in the world, the beautiful Lisa Marie. I am coming at you tonight from an undisclosed location. So tonight I went and I went to go look for my favorite drink, the Orangina, and uh, they were out of it. And I could not believe it, but um, I bought this stuff called uh, Harito's Mandarin, and it should be pretty good. The guy said he's had the Orangina before, and he says, this is better, so I will take his word for it. So the guy at the market, and he sold me this opener, and this is this is pretty cool opener. It works pretty good. But the only thing I do not like about this opener is the company. says right there queen that's a that crazy guy and you want to know something that guy that we thought was homeless he owns the company his picture was on the package and everything it was like it was like seen double or deja vu or something it was like wow that, I, hey that's i knew that guy and the the guy at the store goes oh is he a friend of yours i go no he's no friend of mine but um it was pretty good. The guy sold me this for like a dollar. Usually these go for more, but since I knew the guy, he let me have a deal on it. He says, since I'm buying this anyways, I have no way to get into it. And it was kind of a slow night there. So um, he said I could go ahead and have the opener for just one dollar more because he had like a whole bunch of them and stuff. So um, I said, okay. So anyways, this is the Orangina. And I'll open it up. There we go. And it goes on the floor because I am the only one here who cares. There is nobody here, brother. It's all about men going their own way. Cheers to you. That's not bad. It is definitely the Orgina, but it is like, um, it's kind of hard to describe. It is, um, it is orange, but the front said is, it is Mandarin. So I guess that is, uh, Mandarin is one of those uh, things that uh, people play, like a banjo that Rosie has. It tastes like oranges, but that's a funny name. Mandarin. That is kind of weird. But enough about the Mandarin soda. We put it on the floor because I need the, the tabletop to show you a new business I am starting. This guy at the that was out front of the store, he was kind of a weird dude. And um, he was like talking to people that I guess were invisible. And then uh, he saw me and I tried to give him some money and he says, no, I do not want your money. But instead, I want your help to save the planet. And I go, oh, that's, that's kind of crazy and stuff. But how am I going to save the planet? The planet does not like me, but he says, you've got to help me. And you are the only one who can do this. He says there's other people, but he trusts me to be the one to give his secret invention to. So anyways, we were talking about things that are in short supply during the coronavirus. And uh, the number one thing is the hand sanitizer. And the number two is something you need when you do the number twos. And that is bags. No, that is not bags. That is the TP. So he said, there is a project that I am working on. It is alien technology. Yes, the guy told me the aliens came and showed him how to do this. So he is giving me the starter pack for just $20. And it's it's pretty good. Let me show you this. This is 
this is pretty cool here. This is just one of the pieces here. And um, it's pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, Rosie's friend. Um, I don't remember her name now. Some lady that we knew, and she used to put potatoes on the sticks in the water, and they would grow. We saw them at her house, and it was like, it was pretty amazing. So, anyways, the guy says, what you do, and do not give this secret out to anybody, but he says, you get a receptacle, like a glass, but he made these for me, out of like a water bottle, and then you take the empty toilet paper tube, and you stick it where it is above, and then he was kind enough to throw in the magic water. I forget what the name he called it. I could not say it. It was a really technical sounding name. But he says you just pour the water into the jug like so. And you make sure that at least a little bit of the, the toilet paper tube is covered. Maybe a little bit more. That might be too much. No, that's pretty good. That's, that's how he... He showed them to me, and then he dumped the water out of these things. But this was just like right before I came on here. He says this is this is a good way to get started. So that is the beginning, and he says this one here was been had been growing. Put some more water back in this guy so he does not dry out. Oh no, the table. What is going on with the legume table? This is not good. This is definitely not good. So, this one he said he had growing for about 10 minutes. And after just 10 minutes with the magic water, you can see it is already starting to sprout. Look at that. It is already growing paper in different spots. And he says, when you notice at first it comes in kind of patchy and stuff, but um, it will fill in later. He said this other one here. Let me get the, I have it over here by the microwave. But this one here. Let me give this guy some water too. Because he's drying. And I am, I am almost out of the magic water. So he was nice. I told him I did not have any money right now. But I would get some more pretty soon. So he gave me two jugs of the magic water. He says there is a spring that he fills this up at, and he says the magical incantations, and he gets the magic waters. Woo, brother! And this one is just half an hour. Wow, that guy is thirsty. He is, like, really drinking the water. Woo, brother! So, as you can see, it's, it is thirsty. It is soaking up the water. And in just a matter of days, these will be full rolls of paper. And he said these are the the Charmin triple rolls, super plush with extra fibers and stuff. He he said he could tell by how they smelled. He put them up to his nose and he smelled them and he says, yes, that smells pretty good. And there was another one, but he ate it because he thought it was a hot dog. Maybe his hands smelled like hot dogs because he had been eating those earlier. But um, this is my business right here. I am going to save the world by growing the toilet paper. And this is my forest of TP. Woo, brother. I am so smart. I am going to corner the market. And I am going to be more best. I'm going to be better best. I was the best in the business. When I was the RV king, which I still am, I was the best for the business when I am styling and profiling in my gray soup or my taupe soup. And I am also what is better best for business when it comes to being an entrepreneur with my toilet paper forest. And when these finally grow, I should be able to sell them probably for I am guessing maybe five dollars each. And the guy told me he says if I need any water or the, the tubes, the, the seed tubes to grow the paper onto 
to let him know and he could supply these for me because he is that nice of a guy. You know, he said it is business, so I will I will have to buy a couple of them, but he said he would work out some deals for me. He said usually these these just tubes by themselves. Ooh, that guy was kind of thirsty too. Look at all the water he's drinking. Woo, brother. But uh he said he could sell me the starter seeds for three, four, five dollars. Or if they have a little bit of growth, they would be like ten dollars each. But the starter kit, he was nice enough to give this to me, plus the two jugs of water for just twenty dollars. I said, Wow, brother, you're you're a nice guy. He says the aliens want him to do the part to save the planet because it is not good, brother. Things are getting very bad out there and people are getting crazy. And he wants everybody to remain calm and have peace about them. So he said, I need to start this business and to work with him. And together we can replenish the supply of the toilet paper that is so desirable for everybody because that is what is needed. People are looking for fresh TP. I will set him back by the microwave. And this one too, maybe he'll be encouraged to grow. Grow, guys, grow. I need the money. So these guys here, a very important thing the guy told me too is put them in a, a safe place where it's kind of dark and, and don't look at them too often. Because they get scared and they will not grow. If they get if they get the kind of a shock to their system, they will not grow the paper. But he says, make sure you don't. I don't. I'm kind of worried about having them here in the rig and showing them to you because they might be shocked. But I. But there, those people, they are goods. He told me to talk to them too. The alien man. He says, talk to the toilet paper plants and they will respond and they will grow because they like. They like good, kind words, and I am a good guy, and I am what is best for the business. And I would yell about you guys being trolls and never providing me with my needs, but I am trying to keep calm because I do not want to stress out these these guys here, these toilet paper guys, because they are living organisms, and they will grow the paper that you guys will need. Even though you trolls, and I'm getting, I'm get, starting to get jacked up. I need to calm down. This guy told me a very important breathing exercise. He says you tap on your hand like so. Then you tap on your other hand. He said it was EMT kind of breathing or something. I guess the paramedics do it. And you hold your breath. And then you inhale. Exhale and hold your breath. And then he says you go on your temples. When you breathe in. And then you do on your eyes. And he also said this would help with the blepharitis. And he said that it was pretty good. And then he says you tap on your chin. As you're holding your breath. And then he says to get maximum airflow you got to pretend that you're a fish and have gills he said the aliens told him that many many years ago the world was full of people who used to swim the oceans to go from land to land and they had gills so he says flap your hands like you have gills and then you'll experience the emt breathing which is very calming and i am it it is working this is good this is good i need to do this more often because i get kind of angry and jacked i get all jacked up by yelling at people but this is nice and calming making myself look like a fish with the gills and he says try it this way like you're a butterfly like you are flying this is pretty good. I think this guy used to be like a, a GI instructor or or a yoga guy or something. I do not know, but the, this breathing stuff is pretty good. It makes me feel really good, and it makes me thirsty because I have the orange sota. So I've got my sota.
still pretty good. But um, I know I'm I'm raising my voice again. I get excited. I get excited when I am starting this new business. This is going to be what puts me on the map. I am going to sell these as Elvis TP. Woo, brother! People will be lining up outside the rig to get as much of this as I can produce. I feel like I am the guy from Breaking Bad. That is pretty good, man. I am I am a styling and profiling toilet paper dealer. Hey, and people will come to me and say, Hey, brother, can you hook me up with the roll? And I'll say, You guys that buy a roll like everyone else. Not even the first one is free. No, sorry, Bobby. You got to pay like everybody else. Because this is not the charity ward. And this is not the place for the country club socialism. Everything I do is a business. This is my, another one of my businesses. I am like Donald Trump, the greatest president of all time. With all these businesses going on. Woo, brother. He doesn't look so good. I think I shocked one of these guys, kind of. It looks like, oh no, it looks like I kind of shocked him. He's... Don't die on me, little guy. He's like... He was so young, and in his prime. Maybe he come back. I'll put him over here with the... You know what he needs? He probably needs a little bit of orange soda. It'll help him feel better. Okay, there we go. Put you back over there, brother, with the, with your cousins or brothers. I don't I don't know if they are related or not. I just I assume so because toilet paper all looks alike, and the the man who who helped me start this business said they are they are relatable. So I said okay. He said they are also septic safe if that matters to you, and biodegradable. So, brother, I'm going to uh, go get some fruit snacks, and what is going on? They're trying to box me in again? Okay, I got to move the rig. I will catch up with everybody later. Woo, brother, I got to go to the front of the cab to get to the, the rig. So, oh, they, they turned, okay. But I am taking a lot of chances bringing you guys quality content. Woo, brother. Don't forget the super chats. Can I do my breathing again? I'm starting to get worked up again. I got to do the EMT breathing. And then the nose or the eye. I don't remember. I got to go talk to the guy and find out how to breathe again. I don't remember. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Hit the hands. And the, on the side of the head, and then the nose, the chin, eyes, I I don't know what the proper sequence. I know the, the gill, the fish people thing. I know that. I got that down. Um, I don't remember. I will be right back. I am going to move the rig. I am going to go find the guy and ask about the breathing again. Woo! Don't forget these super chats. Good evening and good night.